Hello everyone, this is Eric Lima, and this is The People's Lima, and you're watching the episode 487 of this great show known as The People's Lima. I am Eric Lima, your host. Well, I want to talk to you all today about, um, you know, retro stuff. As you know, on my last episode, I talked um, I talked about my Toy Vault Hall of the Atari 7800. I got that. Now, you all must be wondering, what other retro stuff do you have? Why you always been always buy retro stuff on eBay and Amazon? Very good question. Before I before I give you that answer, I'll tell you show you all the stuff I bought. Check these out. Check this out. You know, check this out for just a few minutes and just uh, bear with me here. Oh no! I have bought old school cassette tapes. I, you know, but then again, here's another question you guys may end up asking me, Eric. You, do you have an MP3 player? Yes, I do. Do you have a CD player? Yes, I do. A portable CD player as well. Then why the heck are you buying cassette tapes, dude? I like being old school. Being old school, listen, I grew up in the 80s, man. I grew up listening to all sorts of music. And I record music and everything else. And just, uh... I just like recording music. I just like just recording music on the cassette. Usually back... Remember back in the day, I used to have the, um, cassette tapes. You know, I used to have this... Double decker boombox, a small one, bought from Sears. And I used to like, you know, twiddle around with the radio to find my favorite song and then end up recording it. I used to like you know, 92 Pro FM back in the day. I mean, Phone 107 was was kind of like uh, WFHN 107.1. It wasn't Phone 107 until like the 90s. Um 933 WSNE. You know, 95.5 WBRU, um, Z101 was all about the uh, the 80s and, and all that. And I used to wait and record. And uh, I used to uh, bring, I used to uh, go, go call Z101 to uh, get requests from songs, which is really, really cool. And uh, I never thought, I, I think I'd give it a try and see what it's all about. And just, uh, and like, I only heard my own voice on the radio, for goodness sakes. And just, it was totally weird. So, I thought it was something else. So, why do I like you know, collecting cassette tapes? It's pretty cool. But then, then you you know you have you know your favorite jam that you haven't heard a song in a while, and you're scrambling for a cassette. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at a cassette! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! And then you drop a cassette, you pick it up like this, you know. Hey, hello, are you there? <laughs> my apologies. All right, got it. And you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And you get into the song, and you're like, dang it, you know? You get angry, dang it. Dang it, I missed the song. Oh my god, you know? So, I'm going to show you some of the cassettes that I bought, and I thought it would be really cool. And I got packages, you know, scotch. The reason why I bought the scotch ones, because they remind me of the 80s. They remind me of the 80s when I grew up when I was a kid, using them to uh, you know, record 80s songs like uh, El Debarish's Rhythm of the Night. Um, the Fat Boys, the Fat Boys are back. Um, Houdini Freaks Come Out at Night and Friends, and you know, uh, Shaka Khan's I Feel For You, uh, you know, Phil Collins and Philip Bailey, Bailey e Easy Lover, and all that good stuff. Dead or Alive, She's Spinning Me Around. Thompson Twins, Doctor, Doctor, and Homie Now. Uh, Duran, any Duran Duran song and everything else, and that's what rem that's what these uh, tapes remind me of. And I got, I got two more. I mean, I got look at this. Old school, old school scotch, old school scotch, unbelievable. So, so kick button is not even funny. Uh, I got, and then you, and uh, I got more old school tapes. Kmart. Kmart. K freaking Mart. You don't believe me? Look at that. Oh, that was some savers. Let me, let me flip to the other side. Kmart. Kmart, old school Kmart tapes, man. And then in the '90s, you know, you got, you know, same situation in the '90s. You know, you're trying to find tapes, and you know, you're trying to find songs. You get also you get re rare remixes of songs and all that good stuff. And uh, but you move on up. You move on up, and uh, 
you know, you know, I, you know, I ended up getting a job at Ruby Tuesday, started buying CDs of my own so I can get their songs and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Uh. I gotta hurry up and uh, do this because Sox game's on tonight. They're at home playing Cleveland. So my apologies to you all for this. Uh, <laughs> to you all for this. And uh, I started buying, you know, you know, one twenty minute tapes, and I got, you know, more twenty one twenty minute tapes. You know, people think, you know, you all look at me right now and say, this guy is crazy. This guy's out of his mind. I don't know why I watch these videos. He's a crazy person. He's a little loopy in the head. Yeah, that's me. I'm a little bit crazy and out of my mind. No, it's a good thing though, because you know what? If if I wasn't crazy out of my mind, I wouldn't have a personality. That's for sure. You know, if y'all complain about me being crazy and out of my mind, y'all don't y'all don't have a personality like I do, you know. And so, if if you have a personality, you're not using it right. All right, uh, one uh, 110 minute CD uh, K CD in, and uh, you know I got 100 minutes and everything else. So yeah, and you know you know songs like the Backstreet Boys, you know, everybody, um, you know, NSYNC's got a few songs, you know, and uh, you know it's really cool. Uh, it's really cool having cassettes nowadays. But nowadays, with the internet and you know all the songs and all that good stuff, I don't have to worry about um, you know waiting for the radio to hear my favorite song anymore. I just look it up on the internet and boom, that's okay. Download the song and then listen it, listen to it later. And you know if you feel like you know you want to go on the road and uh, listen to uh, listen to your music, you know just record record it off uh, your files. That's really cool. All right, and here's another thing that really helps me though. If I make a lot, if I make mistakes, I can just start over. And use this bad boy, the tape eraser. So all you do is get one, get one of these cassette tapes. You, you, you millennials gotta learn this. Get one of these cassette tapes right here. Boom ba, boom ba. And uh, you know you you put it in through. There's a slot there. You know it's a slot. It's a little slot. And uh, you take the tape like so. There's a little slot. Maybe just uh, aim it. You take the tape. And you get uh, you get to put it like this. All right. I'm just all right. You go yeah. It goes through once and then if you want to go through again. You know, and uh, woo, look at that, look at that, look at that. Mm, boom, there. And that is old school erasing. So tape eraser, if you want one, you pick one up. If you millennials won't want one, well, guess what? You millennials out there, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm calling everybody millennials. I'm a G Generation Xer, all right? You want to call me names, call me GXer. Ew, Generation Xer, that's me. So, yep, old school. Yep, and yeah, I got a lot of 90, 60, NID, DDK, TDK, I got... I got CD cases. I got, you know, I got a hundred. I got ninety scotch. I got a hundred minute CD uh, CDX and all that good stuff. I can record all songs and separate them and all. That's what I like to do. So, and uh, that's it. You know, <laughs> well, that's a, that's a little trippy. You know, hey, I like being old school. I'm a crazy cassette guy. What do you want me to do? You know, you know, nobody. You know, everybody wants me to change. I ain't changing. Yeah. I love, you know, I think when it comes to pop culture and, you know, fads and all that, I like to be stuck in the 80s and 90s, all right? When it comes to situa real life situations and real tragedies and all that, I move on, you know, that's for sure. And, uh, but when it, when it comes to, uh, fads and follies and, uh, old school stuff like cassette tapes and all, I'd rather be stuck in the past, you know, about music and all that. I'd rather be stuck in the past and listen to some of the junk that is out there today, you know? Give me some good old-fashioned rock and roll, pop rock music of the 80s and 90s, and I'll be a happy clam. That's for sure. And, uh, <clears throat> yep, and, and, and it keeps me going, keeps me rocking and rolling. Now I can drive, you know, I can sing, you know, sing my favorite songs, you know, and just, you know, bop to the music, and people look at you like, hey, who's this nutcase, you know? <laughs> I'm a nutcase. <laughs> oh, I'm a total nutcase, and I love being, being me, and that's all there is to it. See, here's my people's eyebrow. You smell what the rock is cooking, you know. Wrestling theme songs, man, you know. You know, here comes the X, here comes the Smasher, the Demolition, Walk at Disaster, Pain and Destruction, it's a metal name. You know, that that type of thing. So, you know, you can listen to your favorite, you know, we're all American boys. Nah, nah. All American boys, we're not the Mounties. We're handsome and we're brave and we're strong, you know. 
And some of the theme songs that you can't get out of your head. And you're like, oh, I, you know, you know what? I'm gonna play this song in my car. I don't care if people what think me. I'll sing the Mounties theme song so long. Is, are you drunk? He said, if I was drunk, I wouldn't be driving right now, son. You know what I'm saying? You know, a little crazy. You gotta calm down. Ease up. You know, well, so that's the moral of the story. Is I like cassette tapes, um, old school music, cassette tapes. They take me back. You know, they take me back when I was a young rep scallion kid when I'm growing up, and just uh, I'm just very grateful of the life that I have. Even though, despite despite a lot of things that have happened in my life, I'm very grateful for the um for the life I've had, and uh, and hopefully, I know I'll be turning 40 next year, but I think the best is yet to come, basically. So. Uh, and if things go downhill from here, well, I just got to stay strong. That's all there is to it, you know. Basic, sim basically simple as this is that I'm different than most people. You know, I don't mind that one bit. Well, that's all the time we have on this show. To my family, relatives, friends, and subscribers, thank you for uh, tuning into the show. And I appreciate you guys watching it and just have a, uh, have a little fun. And not only that, uh, remember this, folks. Coolness is the essence of a happy person. See ya. And good, and goodbye. And to my local friends, if you're Red Sox fans, enjoy the game. See ya.